Fresh fighting in the Philippines has brought back an old ghost from the Civil War, Christian militias. They're launching offensives to keep Islamic rebels off their land. We are all who have the right to possess Mindanao. The more they will make atrocities, the more Muslim civilian populace or Muslim villages will be destroyed. The militia chief agrees to bring us along on a secret visit to what he calls his front line. After several hours of passing through deserted rice fields, we finally arrive. These men are farmers or former policemen. They say some Islamic fighters are close by. They staged an ambush a few hours ago. Only a few dozen meters away, a camp that belongs to government forces. According to this officer, the militias simply don't exist. Civilians, um, I haven't seen that for the moment, but the civilians are helping us uh, making these bunkers because uh, civilians are not authorized to carry firearms. Crew of farmers, village officials and teachers report for duty on the southern Philippines island of Mindanao. Assault weapons, World War II rifles, machetes, even chainsaws, anything goes when it comes to fighting Muslim separatists. This Christian militia known as the Iliga patrols the hills and farmland every day. The qualities you need to join our group are strength, bravery, and you have to volunteer. We don't force people to join. We just want to help and to protect our community. At least 50 civilians have been killed here in the last month, as fighting has flared between the army and the Mora Islamic Liberation Front. The Iliga already fought the MILF in the 1970s when the battle for an independent Muslim state on Mindanao began. Back then, they reputedly hacked off and sometimes ate parts of their fallen enemies to give them strength. The militia has now reformed as an 11-year peace process has stalled. While the extremism has disappeared, their determination to defend themselves has not. We will fight until our last breath, until we grow old. And to grow old, the militiamen say they have a secret weapon, amulets that protect them on the battlefield. Pictures of Jesus Christ, shirts inscribed with religious drawings and prayers in Latin. The talisman are handed down from generation to generation. I haven't been hit yet. The bullets fly past me, even if I stand out in the open. With fighting expected to intensify when the holy Muslim month of Ramadan ends, the Iliga are about to put their beliefs, courage and even their lives on the line.